On today's episode of the Grab My Banner podcast, we have a brand new event, Thrill Seeker. We're going to go over some of the skins, talk about that. We also go and rank all of our favorite arena maps in order, how we think they should go. We also have a gigantic fight between Brian, Kyle, and Troy that you're going to want to listen to. It's about the charge rifle. Very interesting stuff. We have a brand new faction, the Cornbread Cowboys. And then uh, we finish off the show with gambling. Don't forget to leave a review if you're listening on Apple Podcasts. And let's get into the show. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Grab My Banner podcast, episode number 44. Boys, we got a brand new event coming out today, Thrill Seeker. We just capped off a great great event, probably one of my favorite um, events they've ever done, bringing back the old maps. Let's say a quick farewell to the old maps because we don't know when we'll ever see them again. Here's what I'll say about Old Kings Canyon. It didn't have the loot, and we forgot about that. It just didn't have the loot that no, it needed that, to have. That needed more loot, but you know what? It just feels good. That Skull Town. It, oh, that it Thunder good. Dome. <laughs> dude, even even like just bridges, just walking around, dude. Like the little river cities that are next oh to the gosh. water. Yeah. Uh, the wasteland. What was it? The, I wish I could live the, there. The destroyed forest. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. The dude, burnt I, down forest. Oh, good. That, that oh, little dude. area just to the north of it. I mm-hmm. dropped there so many times. Dude. I went down on that shit. I, I went. You went down on that shit? <laughs> down Multiple it. times. Like, I Damn. went down on that shit. Like, it happened. It went down on me. It, it was mutual. Damn. There's a mutual going down yeah. on? We're frequently. Each, it's like a 69. Every, honestly, every other time we dropped. You were 69 in Kings Canyon. That's hot. I'm going to miss that place. Honestly, if I could live in a place that looked like the River Cities next to uh, Kings Canyon, I would. That's a great That's a great little – even it if is. it's a hut like that, fuck Dope. it. Get me in there. And then okay. let's let's say a quick goodbye to World's Edge too because original World's Edge is the first time it's ever come back, ever. I got to say, World's Edge has the loot, and it's much better in original oh, World's look. Edge yes. form. It is Liter- – it's beautiful. Every single person that I talked to, and I did talk to people and ask like a good amount in public lobbies and things like that. I said, how do you like this version of the map compared to the old one? Never once did I get a response saying the old one was better. Everyone said this map needs to be the map to play on, especially in competitive format. At the very least, you got to make the sky blue again. And dude, original Cap City was so much better oh than my the dog God, shit dude. we have now. Original Cap City is better than New York City. Yes, it's beautiful. Honestly, if I could live in Original Cap City, I fucking would. Kings Canyon World's Edge, we're going to miss you. Hopefully we see you. Or Original Kings Canyon World's Edge, we miss you. Hopefully we see you again. Uh, it was a great event. I loved every single second of it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, respawn for that event. Um, boys, let's get into the rest of the show. We got the raise energy question of the week. We just had a big UFC event this weekend. Yes, we did. So why would we not come up with UFC names for every single legend in Apex Legends? Boys, we're going to do the same thing we did with the porn names a few weeks back. We're all going to say a name for the legend, and we're all going to pick who we thought had the best name for each legend. So let's get into it. Before we do that, can we just say that Fuse would hold the bad motherfucker belt for all of his eternity. Oh, yes. Dude, absolute BMF. He, if he was in the UFC, I don't think Fuse would lose a fight. And if he did lose a fight, it wouldn't be by getting KO'd at all. It would go to the cards. That's Definitely what, that's what would happen. Fuse has got to be... I think Fuse wouldn't train a single day for a UFC fight, and he would still knock anybody out. And he'd be drunk as shit, just beating the hell out of you. Drunk as hell. Beyond that, I mean... Mirage would be really hard to deal with. I think yeah. Gib would actually low key bust bust up some heavyweight people. champion. Heavyweight champ. Jeez, yeah. I think Blood would be nasty. Who wins, Gibraltar, Francis and Ganu? Francis and Ganu. Still, it's but I think, Ghanu's Ghanu's I, think <laughs> I think the better take, Fran- take Gib and get rid of the fat, and that's Francis and Ganu. Okay, all yeah, right. That's real. Well. Think, but like, what about Jib versus Butterbean? 
That would be more Jib, fun. Yeah, that, Jib, I think that that's, sell that more would, that's what I see Jib as. That would sell more, more of a butter beans. Yeah. yeah. Butterbean was insane. He <laughs> was insane. Dude, he was I love Butterbean. I butter do beans. Too. <laughs> if you okay I if, fucking loved watching Butterbean. If you're young, <laughs> you need to go look up Butterbean on YouTube and you will have yourself a fucking ball. Okay. It's butterbean nuts. was awesome. He was one of the greatest of all time. Look up I mean <laughs> not really, but like no, he wasn't. He He's was one of the funnest was. to he watch. Was, he, he was fun as hell he to was watch because he was massive. My favorite fight was when he beat up uh, Johnny Knoxville inside of like a party city or whatever that was. <laughs> <laughs> um, you that said was Mirage. The butter being thing I've ever heard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you said Mirage would be a great fighter. I think Mirage would be the Joe Rogan of the Apex Legends universe. Just a great broadcaster having the, the best interviews. Joe Rogan getting on the ground with Conor McGregor yeah, this weekend was, was so awesome. That was. Bro, I watched that. That's I go, professionalism. Oh, I, watched, <laughs> fine, dude. I watched him do that. I go, oh, don't do that to the guy yeah yeah that, you knew you knew dude he was so keyed up he was gonna say some dumb shit <laughs> no he was so yeah. yeah let's get into these names raise energy question of the week don't forget to head on down to repsports.com use code banner b-a-n-n-e-r for 15 percent off all raise energy products boys ufc names for every legend well, let's start at the top we've got bangalore her name is anita williams I got Anita the Smoke Show Williams. Okay. Oh like my it. gosh. That's a good, that, that, that's a good, that's a good one. I use that for a, I use that for a different character. Uh, <laughs> I got bang, uh, Anita the Cheetah Williams. That's, that's pretty that's nice. That's I like the rhyming lit, yeah. stuff. I like the rhyming stuff. I got stuff. Anita Knockout Williams. Okay. I got Anita Full Metal Jacket Williams. That's pretty sick too. I just um, like saying Full Metal Jacket. Troy, what was yours again? Anita the Cheetah. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I like, I like the that. rhyming it, thing. It, Brian, it, write it down. Anita the Cheetah. <laughs> yeah, Anita the Cheetah. All right, low. so Troy's got Troy's got let's the go, first baby. point. All right, let's move on to Caustic. Uh, Kyle. His name is Alexander Knox. I have it. Alexander the Mad Hatter Knox. That's Ooh. a good one. I really like that. He has that skin, okay. too. Right? I had something real close to that. I had I, I skipped Alexander. I said Alex Madman Knox. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I, I shortened it a little bit. Okay. I said Alexander the Independent Variable Knox. Uh, we got the same one. I said the okay. same thing. Okay. You know what? I think the Mad Hatter the Mad is Hatter really works. good. Yeah. The Mad like Hatter works. Hatter better. It works a lot. Now we've got uh, uh, Crypto. Crypto's name is Tay June Park. What do oh. you guys got for Crypto? I took out the June. Park. I took out the June as well. Kyle. Tay the Portal Body Park. The Portal Body <laughs> Okay. Because he's shitty at fighting. Oh, because he's shitty in the game. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. That makes a lot more sense. I didn't know why you said that. Uh, I had Tay the Butterfly Park. I just pictured the drone flying around like a butterfly. Tay Cameraman Park. Cameraman? Okay. <laughs> that takes some shots? Yeah. No, no. I meant he's literally the cameraman. Okay. He he should. So he shouldn't be in a ring? He's not in the ring okay. whatsoever. All right. Well. Yeah. He's the little drone flying around inside the ring that stays out of the fucking way of Herb Dean. Understandable. <laughs> Tay the Daisy Park. Tay the Daisy. Because I just saw him as he's just dainty. Dainty. He's delicate. He is, he is dainty. Yeah. I like I, da- I like the Daisy. I gotta I mean I fuck. I guess I'll go with Kyle's. He's hard because he's just like he's so not fit for it. I kinda like yeah. Brian's just because it makes fun of him. We're at a standstill. I don't even know what it was. Yeah, Brian are. has to pick. Should we just Brian, let the community pick this? One. We'll let the community. Community, pick. Yeah. if you or can, you know what, pick one of ours or one. make a better. Yeah, yeah just make a better, make a better one because we honestly suck. We suck, yeah. dude. We're honestly terrible. We're terrible. All right, moving on to Fuse, who has quite possibly the greatest name of all time alone, uh, Walter Fitzroy. Uh, Kyle, go ahead with uh, Walter Fitzroy. <laughs> Walter the fuck Fitzroy. <laughs> 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 I'm that bloke. <laughs> That's uh, I had Walter Drunken Fist Fitzroy. I had the Atomic Walter Fitzroy. The Atomic. That's, That's atomic. sick. Walter Dynamite Fitzroy. That's good too. I like uh what was Brian's? The Atomic Walter. The Atomic. Fitzroy. I'm going with the Atomic too. I That's like the sick. Atomic. I, yeah, I like that. I, I wrote that one down. I'm like that. That's it. That's a winner, dude. All right, we move on to Gibraltar. Uh, his name is Makoa Gibraltar. I said Makoa fat as shit Gibraltar. <laughs> 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 Makoa the Gladiator Gibraltar. I, he does look like a gladiator in a lot of ways. Yeah. Yep. I got a uh, Makoa Thick Show Gibraltar. Thick Show. I like the Thick it's Show. It's the Thick Show. The, the thick, thick Show. I like the Thick Show. That blows mine out of the water. I had, uh, no pun intended, 
I had Mako Gibraltar, like Mako Shark. Oh, okay. yeah, like the, that's yeah. what I was thinking. Like I, I just felt like it was just I get it. easy I like to game, flow. With I like the thick show. I like the yeah, thick, I like show. thick show. I can so, see it. What was it again, Troy? Uh, Makoa Thick Show Gibraltar. It's like the Big Show, but better. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I can just see. I'm see when I was making these, I was picturing like Bruce Buffer saying, "Spell, it. spell <laughs> thick for me." T h i c c c. Oh, so three C's. Three C's. Uh, we mm-hmm. move on to Lifeline. A J Che. Kyle. I have A J the Ray Gun Che. The Ray Gun. The Ray Gun. That's good. Okay. I had A J Flatline Che. Nice. That's good. I I'm torn between two. Okay. I don't know which ones. One is Pay A J Che. Ooh. And the other is AJ Payday Shea. See, both of those would be an actual UFC fighter's name. Yeah. Exactly. I think Bo- Payday Shea is payday. pretty sick. I payday like Shea. Payday Shea. Payday Shea. I like pay- Payday Shea rolls well. Mm-hmm. Uh, AJ Heart Attack Shea. Heart Attack. I think Brian's would be like a perfect UFC name. Yeah, yours is payday, payday, payday Shea. Payday Shea. All right. We got Loba Andrade. Uh, Kyle. Loba Big Booty Andrade. Big booty. Uh, Loba Lone Wolf Andrade. I said I like the same that. thing. I said the Lone, the lone Wolf. wolf. Yeah. The Lone Wolf. Right on. I got Loba the Baker Andrade. Oh. Because ba- she got those buns. cakes. Baby. Yeah. <laughs> Did you make them cakes? There it is. That took me a second. <laughs> I'm choosing the Baker. You give the it to your boy? Loba the Baker. I get the Baker. I'm right here. I'm right here. Then we move on to Mirage. We've got Elliot Witt. Kyle. Oh. Elliot Get Lit Witt. <laughs> That's a good one. St. Elliot Wit. Okay. I, like that. I got Elliot the Clit Wit. Elliot the Clit. Because he's sensitive. Okay. <laughs> 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 Fucking. Uh, Kyle, what was yours? Uh, Elliot Get Lit Wit. I kind of like Get Lit. What was yours? Mine was Full House. Just a bunch of people. <laughs> a bunch of clones. <laughs> Elliot Full House Wit. Yep. A bunch of clones. We have St. Elliot Wit, Elliot Full House Wit. Get lit. Get and lit. Wit. Elliot get lit. The clit. And Elliot the clit wit. Honestly, that flows the best. <laughs> the clit, clit wit. The clit wit flows the best. Okay. So you, we've got this one. Troy, are you doing I the clit? For myself. I, that okay. makes me laugh. Community decide that one. Community. Okay. okay. Community so community decision. is either the it's Elliot he, the clit wit or Elliot get lit wit. I, knowing our community, the clit's going to end up winning. Probably. Probably. That's our community. We're, look, we're looking at you, Midas. Yeah. Lead the charge. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we move on to Octane, Octavio Silva, Kyle. Octavio the Stim Silva. All right. I had Octavio Cracked Silva. Kyle, right. what was yours? Octavio the Stim Silva. We have the exact same shit. Okay. Mm-hmm. Troy? Octavio the Machine Silva. The Machine. Since he's got, you know, robot legs. What that do you guys think? Mean. That would be mean. I mean, the stim just seems like a layup. Stim, yeah, the stim yeah, is a layup. But that's a yeah, split between stim. Brian and Kyle. That's a split. Stim. We move on to Pathfinder. Now, on the official Apex website, it says that Pathfinder's real name is Mervin. Um, so, Kyle, go ahead and start with that bad boy. I just went with the easiest one. It's just Swervin Mervin. Okay. Yep. That's great. I went with uh, Pathfinder the Virgin Mervin. The Virgin. I put uh, Mervin the Grappler. That, that doesn't work. I think, it, honestly, that worked better in my head. I would say Path the Grappler Finder. Okay. But that's just trash. I just did Everlast Mervin. And I like his gloves. I think they're cool. So That's great. Everlast I love gloves. Everlast Mervin. Yeah. yeah. Everlast Mervin is for me. Nice. I nice. like that. Yeah, I like that, too. Did not that's expect good. that one to do well at all. <laughs> uh, we move on to Rampart, and we've got uh, Remya Perrick. Uh, Kyle. Remya the Picture Perfect Perrick. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Uh, Remya the Nut Crusher Peric. The Nut Crusher, Brian. Uh, Remya the Ringer Peric. The Ringer, and then I had Remya Snap On Peric. Ooh, that's so solid. Like the Snap On tools. Snap that On. Is so solid. Uh, I like Snap On, but honestly, that I think, one, I think yeah, that's perfect. a real. That's a real. Kyle, UFC. Say yeah. that one more time for me. Remya the Picture Perfect Peric. Yep, yep. That's a that's a that's a name right there. Uh, we move on to uh, uh, Volk. Uh, we got Kyrie Imhara, Kyle. Kyrie the Anaconda Imhara. Nice, the Anaconda. Interesting. Troy. Kyrie the Eagle Imhara. Kyrie Komodo Imhara. And I had Komodo. Kyrie the Predator Imhara. I could just All picture animals. do a Komodo on somebody. I could too. 
Or is it Komodo or Kamora? The upside down Kamora. Kamora. Oh, oh, you were talking about. I mean, yeah, he no, wasn't talking. Oh, yeah. He was talking about Kamora. Was it was you, be, you were talking about. Never sex. mind. I was thinking the move Kamora. <laughs> Kamora. Komodo would be better. I like Komodo still. Yeah. I still think that fits. Let's do Kyrie, Komodo. Komodo. All right, we move on to Watson. We've got Natalie Pocket. Kyle. Natalie the Hot. Pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Say it again. <laughs> oh, you're a son of a bitch, you know. You fuck. <laughs> Natalie the what? <laughs> Natalie the <laughs> The Hot Pocket. The Hot Pocket. <laughs> the Hot Pocket. <laughs> so good. Natalie oh, the God. Hot Pocket. I knew I heard it right. Oh, I just want <laughs> I wanted to clarify. Uh, Troy, what do you got? <laughs> <laughs> that is so fucking good. That's too good. I don't uh, think I have any. I had clothes. two. I had one that was uh, harkening back to when we did our movie trailers. So, uh, Natalie, Infinite Hole Pocket okay. is up there. <laughs> uh, and then the one that I think I, I actually wanted to go with was Natalie, Deep Waters Pocket. Okay. Deep yeah. Waters Pocket. Because you get... You get you get the, uh, the innuendo. You get yeah. the innuendo, but you also like you know to be in deep waters, right? Is yeah. to be yeah. jacked up and keep fighting. So, I had Natalie the Kraken Pocket. Uh, I went Nat Quick mm-hmm. Parquet. It's gotta be. It's gotta be it's the, the fucking hot, bitch. The fucking hot, 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 you absolute hot bitch. Parquet. How do you spell hot, Kyle? H O T T, baby. H O T T, not H A W T. H O T T. H O T T. Okay. There we that go. Was so good. And then we are on the last one. Uh, we got Wraith, Renee Blazy, Kyle. Renee the Bong Blurip Blazy. <laughs> <laughs> Renee Smoke Show Blazy. Okay, mm-hmm. Brian. Uh, Renee 420 Blazy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's actually really also, that is really, that is really uh, I got Renee Only Hands Blazy. <laughs> <laughs> you said only you hands. Got only okay, hands. You got it. I, only you hands. Got it. You, you, got, hands. you got that one, baby. I said got, if I didn't win one, the Wraith one, I was going to be pissed. You got it. There we go. That was a layup. All right, there we go. We've got our uh, UFC names. Boys, that'll just about do it for the Ray's Energy Question of the Week. Head on down, if you want a card, head on down to RaysEnergy.com, otherwise known as RepSports.com, where you can use code BANNER to get 15% off all Ray's Energy and other energy supplement products on RepSports.com. Use code BANNER. Get yourself the variety pack. Get yourself a full 24-pack. Get yourself a 12-pack. I think they're starting to sell 12-packs now. So get yourself whatever you need of the Ray's Energy. Help out the Grab My Banner pod by using code BANNER. Get yourself a nice little discount. Boys, we are going to head into the first discussion about the best arena maps, and we will see you guys on the other side. All right, here we go. Discussion time. We're going to be ranking the best arena maps in the game, especially because we just got a brand new arena map. But before we get into that, we have a tie in the raise energy question, and your guys' decision will essentially figure out who wins the tie, Brian. So we are tied between Troy and Kyle at five apiece in the Ray's Energy MMA UFC fighting names. Uh, the tiebreaker will be the one that you guys choose between for Mirage's name. It is Elliot Clitwit for Troy or Elliot Gitlitwit for Kyle. for Kyle. So that'll be the deciding factor to see who wins. I have a feeling our community is going to go with the clit. That's just I, that's my. Personally, I'd go with the clip. Yeah, that's my gut and that, feeling. That's just me. It's, it's it's smoother. It's to the point. You know I exactly like where it. you're going. It's fun. It's do energetic. You know it's exciting. Not every time. Sometimes it takes me a little while to find where I'm going, but I know where I'm going. If every you see time. a magnifying glass next to my on my bed stand, don't ask why it's there. Okay, <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. Why is it there? I said, don't ask, Brian. Don't ask <laughs> why it's there because I know why it's there. Well. Well, Wyatt, that's why it's there. <laughs> anyway, so let's move on. We ca- yeah. Did you oh, you're talking about my small penis. Did you catch my pun? Yeah, I think okay. oh, he's trying to make a small a penis. penis joke. Yeah, it was yeah. a penis. It was yeah. a subtle about penis my penis. Because like about you need a penis. magnifying glass yeah. to yeah. find yeah. my you penis. By the way, you, so you, you can't pledge something you can't see. That's what I used to think. Wow. But it's not true. Yeah. 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 
All right, so yeah, with a brand new event, we have ourselves a brand new arenas map. Now, this arenas map is fucking awesome. Overflow, brand new. You would think with Overflow that it's going to have a lot of water, you know, kind of be crazy with all, like the blues and the whites and stuff. Complete opposite. It's lava. Lava is everywhere. It's got a very dark, dreary feel to it, kind of similar to uh, Harvester in World's Edge, but... That being said, the map is absolutely awesome. From a competitive standpoint, from a fun standpoint, there's a lot of great areas around the map that you can fight. There's one central point in the beginning, and then you have another central point a little bit further back. So there's lots of different areas that fights can take place. There's lots of awesome opportunities for flanks. There's awesome opportunities to fight at the heels and at the, uh, the, the money deposits. There's only two money deposits on the map, which is very interesting for how big it is. At least I think it's kind of bigger. So a lot of fights converge on those, uh, those deposits right there. But anyway, Kyle, how are you feeling about this map so far? It's one of my favorite maps, man. I think it's, it's got a lot of high ground, and a lot of low ground that you can play on, uh, a lot of places to converge and fight. And it's just, there's a lot of interesting ways you can play the map. Um, I also think it's like really wide, so if they go hard to one side, it's really easy to flank the other team. So it just kind of depends on like team comps and what you're going to run for this. But I really think Mobility Legends and the ability to flank is really, really strong if you can get there fast enough. So it's just kind of, it kind of depends how you want to play it. I do think Caustic will thrive on this map, especially in that one choke point in the room where, you know, you're both kind of sitting on the outside of the doors waiting to open them up, yeah. see who's going to open first. Caustic will do well in this one. Rampart, maybe, if you can play her correctly. Uh, I will say this too. With Skulltown being gone, um, we just had Skulltown as an arena map for the last few weeks, but they said they had to take it away because they needed to keep in Kings Canyon uh, in order to keep it there, so they had to take it out. Could this be another POI and then the upcoming changes coming to World's Edge? Could be, possibly. Um, I don't know where they'd take out, but I mean, Dang. definitely they said... From the leaks that we've seen so far, it seems like they're going to destroy World's Edge even more than it already is. So it's got to be maybe one of the outer edge places that it, has lava. It's got to be Lava City. That's one of the only lava places in the map that hasn't been touched. If they're going to blow something else up, that's outskirts that I think could have a similar slant to it. I would start looking towards Geyser. Yeah. Because that back half of Geyser, the part that nobody really ventures into is a little has that slant to it it's got those hills going down wrote uh respawn beacon back there it's fully kitted for being able to be destroyed but also be reworked so it's more attractive to people i see that i if it wasn't lava city my money is on geyser okay so there's there's a high possibility as well that it just remains a map that is in the arena's rotation similar to phase runner similar to party crasher but like we've said before, you never know with Apex. A lot of times they like to dangle the mouse right in front of you as they're uh, getting ready to show you the entire shebang. So there's a giant possibility that this is part of World's Edge coming forward. So you're going to want to play this map. And also, you just want to play this map because it's a good map. It's really good. All right, so how we're going to rank this, because Brian and Troy haven't gotten a chance to play the map just quite yet, we're going to do our rankings without Overflow in it. Uh, it's still new. There's still time that we have to figure out where exactly we'd want to place it. But I will throw in where I think it should go. Kyle will throw in where he thinks it should go since we got a good chance to play it a few times. Okay. So, boys, who wants to go first with the rankings list? I'll go first. Um, so, number one overall, I have Skulltown. I just feel like Skulltown has the most high and low ground. It has the most, like, different ways you can play it. There's a lot of different metas you can run. Um, I feel like mobile characters were really strong, but also I feel like Revenant was really strong on the map uh, itself, being able to climb those buildings. And anything that could get on top of those skyscrapers was really strong. So um, I feel like that's – it's just a fun map in general. Um, number two – uh, I actually really love Party Crashers, even though the the circle hasn't really changed too, too much. It's a little bit better now, um, but I do like the fights on the ship, uh, the poke war, and then push. Number two for Party Crasher, huh? Number two. Hey, hey, don't knock on my dude. Number two for Party Crasher. Damn, that's high. Number three, I have Phase Runner. 
Okay. Because um, I, I do really enjoy the map. It's widespread. Um, it's a little bit more of a long range map, and I like close range fights. But um, it's still really uh, entertaining and fun um, when you play it right. And then number number five or four? Yeah, four. number four. Number four, I have Thermal Station just because I like getting in people's faces. Like I said, I like close range fights. It's not really the most competitive map. I think if they were going to have a competitive playlist, they should probably take Thermal Station out because I just think that it's too too much like you're just bum rushing the other team and then whoever gets the first knock wins the fight and it's like less skill involved um and then number five i have gardens uh, i do enjoy gardens sometimes the range and the poke war from long range kind of bothers me and it's annoying when they buy charge rifles um I, the last two maps i picked them last because charge rifles just ruin the game for me they piss me off so Gardens, charge rifle, I fucking hate life. And then artillery, charge rifle, I fucking hate life. You loved artillery. I do love artillery, but recently, dude, I just, I get PO'd when people, like, just buy the charge rifle or they just stand up top of those buildings so they don't really engage with you. That surprises me. That 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 surprised me. I thought you were going to have artillery way higher than that. I really, like, I enjoy artillery, but, like, recently people are just fucking punk-ass bitches, and, like, they don't fight you straight up. <laughs> they just sit, they sit really far away with whatever sniper they can get. 90% of the time, it's the fucking charge rifle, because nobody can aim in this fucking bitch. <laughs> they just want the easiest point-and-shoot weapon they can fucking get. The, the yep. one that requires the least amount of brain cells, and that's well, what they uh, fucking welcome get. Welcome to PC yeah, yeah, lobbies. You know what, Fuck off. They okay? can't, can't. It's they, dope. There's nothing wrong with no they motherfucking can't get, charge rifle. They can't get okay. the Spitfire anymore, <laughs> yes, so they're no, just getting no, the charge no, rifle. Okay. You need to really calm your fucking tits, <laughs> because that shit is absolutely Trash. way shittier Listen, than every other sniper. Do we have a new workhorse situation? It's way shittier than here? every other sniper. No. If you're using it, it's because you like it. The new face of the workhorse is aim. the fucking charge it's rifle. You can't track it's literally else. all aiming and tracking. Oh okay, my. Let me you have that. to keep it on you the target the whole time. <laughs> let me rephrase that. You can't <laughs> predict what the other fast. person's going to do. You fucking no kidding me. No. No. If you could predict, you'd be playing with the Sentinel or I can. I do play with the Sentinel. I'm just saying sometimes How's my what? Your Kraber shot. I haven't gotten a Kraber in months. That doesn't okay, surprise I already, me. You I probably don't, even don't live know. that long because you're playing with the charge Listen, rifle. Listen, you fucking bitch. How many kills did you get this? How many kills did you get this week? Forty, bitch. You, you tried to You only got forty because you can't fucking count. <laughs> <laughs> you can't. <laughs> All right. Did listen. you get those kills with the charge rifle? <laughs> no, not one. <laughs> no, fucking Troy. Oh, he probably got. All I of only them. got no, one. I only stuff. really played one game, and listen. it was. Uh, I love playing the charge rifle on Party Crasher. I absolutely love. You're a punk ass bitch. Dude, listen, you want to know what I do? It's so listen, fun to play. Do you want to know what I do to people with the charge <laughs> you know what's, rifle? You know what? Just like crossing swords because they always have one too. And no, like, no, no, not, no, no, they don't. No, no, listen, no, no, no. listen, only in low SBMM lobbies do they play the charge That's rifle. Fucking do you stupid. I, do you want to know listen, what I do to charge rifle kids? Oh God, you fucking lose st- to him like you lose to everyone else, Brian. Don't <laughs> no. you fucking give me this shit? I actually had more to do this week, but. I put smoke no. on their ass and bum rush them because no. they can't do shit up close. Yeah, they're fucking dog shit. That I, see, I disagree. I could do a lot with the charge rifle. Really? So really? I'm in your yeah. face. Hold on. Listen, charge hold on. Rifle. Listen, don't, don't attack his we pride. We can take it all the way back to our fucking damage head-to-head if you want. All right? I literally... <laughs> listen. No, no, yeah, Troy. You, Troy, listen, hold on. Troy, hold on. I need damage. to ask you a question. I need where, to ask you a question. Where are the quick. kills? If you could attach <laughs> some sort of possibly animal or mythical creature to the charge rifle oh god what would it be don't say the dragon riders you punk ass bitch because we would never use that fucking shit ass gun <laughs> if you Not had to attribute- okay all right hey you know what let me let me ask you this Kyle, you played a lot of Halo, right? I played a lot of Halo too. Okay, I, listen, played, I played. I played a lot Spartan of Halo. No, laser is completely different. It is not even yes, it at is. all. It is the Spartan exact laser same fucking gun. Completely different. Uh, it I, is literally listen. the same no, exact Kyle. fucking thing. No, yes, it is. It is. How is it not? Please explain. Okay. Oh, because the beam is red, dude. Give me what. <laughs> no, give me what no. difference. Let me tell you what's going on. Okay, so the charge rifle, let me explain to you. This is why it's a punk-ass bitch weapon. Oh if you shoot somebody with it, it stuns them, and then you just follow them as they're being stunned and then shoot them with a giant blast. The Spartan laser did not have a laser before it. 
when you shoot it, you had to charge it and it had to shoot the one shot, the one blast that it takes. And you had to be pick. You had to shoot that thing. You had such accuracy to fucking kill somebody. It was insane. So you There's didn't no need fucking way. It's, just, you had listen, no it's just as insane. It's just as insane. No, you yes, slow it is. the fuck down. Dude, it's not. You, you fucking slow people down with heavy ammo, too. Don't act like that's a fucking charge rifle exclusive. <laughs> what world are you living in? Yeah, For God's thing. sake, don't, you, you don't even go there. Yeah, that shit that's why is it's in fucking the same. difficult to get 100% yeah. hit with that burst. No. I would Troy like to see any dragon, dragon rider do a weeks. motherfucking 360 and hit a burst off of it. You couldn't. You I won't. couldn't. Yeah, because you, you you're can't. You're a dragon rider. Difficult. You're saying that to the dragon riders? I am, dude. What the fuck? You can't say that you can't use a charge rifle as a dragon rider. I'm not going to be a part of the dragon riders. You can't use a fucking... Get out of the dragon riders. No, no. Do you mean charger? that? Do you mean that? Are you, are you Bro, sure are you you're serious? kicking him out right now? A fucking 360 We're, hitting the I'm full burst? I'm you out. Oh, no. <laughs> my God. The dire wolves will not take you. I don't even want... Brian, I that is I literally would rather the charge just be rifle a lone is a wolf. bitch weapon, and I don't care what anybody says. <laughs> it's not a fucking bitch weapon, it's a Kyle. Bitch weapon. No, just, it's not. Troy, just start, just start the Tweety Bird clan. You're fine. Hey, listen. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, Troy, listen. Tweet. Literally, <laughs> artillery was one of my favorite maps of all time, and then people started using Bro. the charge rifle on it. Literally every game, and it made it all the way to the bottom of my list. Anybody Bangalore? know one gambling last season? I don't even <laughs> fucking <laughs> Bitch, it was me. (laughs) Oh, shit. It was me. (laughs) My bad. Two seasons ago. Two seasons ago. Wait, did we have two seasons? Uh, Was there a season before mine? No. No, I just remember uh, Kyle getting dead last. Yeah, Yeah, it's pretty insane, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, Troy, uh, how are you? What (laughs) are you going to go back to the world? Are you just a. What are you gonna do? <laughs> You're on your ass right now. Because you won't pay. You you disband. Or you try to disband the Listen, workhorses. I don't they fucking won't take you. I don't the even care. Dragon Listen, riders won't. I don't take even. You. I didn't disband shit. I literally just you said. I do. I no. I didn't. All I said was. All I said was, I'm stepping back. I kept the seat warm for you. I'm glad. If you want to come I don't, back. I don't want to. Listen. Do you want to start a new no, faction? No, I'm not starting a faction. Starting I don't need Tweety any Bird. of this bullshit. We can All right, get a good There's name. no reason. Here, you know what? I think here's my here's my fucking personal ethos. All right, if you want to if you want to have share it with me, that's great. But we don't have to call ourselves anything because it's just it's just down home. I I'm the fucking corn I'm the cornbread clan. <laughs> All right, <laughs> without even trying, you just gave yourself a name. The corn I, I am literally the down home cornbread I'm, clan. <laughs> You didn't even try, and you did it. The it's DHC. The down home, <laughs> the down home cornbread clan. The CC, baby. CC me. Put me on that email. All right. All right. If Listen, anybody's trying to join my, the down home cornbread clan, my, it's there. My ethos is if they put it in the game, it has a place in the game. All right? We need to stop throwing shade at each other for using guns during the motherfucking game. If you're going to say, I have a fucking map, and I like it, and now all of a sudden... I don't like it anymore because people are using guns that they're legally allowed to use in the game and that they're spending money on like I spend on all my bullshit. That's stupid. It's stupid. You got to overcome it. You can't just be like, oh, I can't figure it out. I'm just going to put it on the bottom of my list. Kyle, that's some pussy shit, dude. (laughs) No, no, no. Listen, listen, listen. (laughs) These two used to be brothers. I'm going to tell you right now, okay? (laughs) They were faction brothers. Let me tell you right now, okay? If you, if your punk ass goes into (laughs) artillery, okay? If your punk ass goes into artillery and you sit on top of the building and you use a charge rifle and shoot all the fuckers down below and don't push because you're a fat bitch, okay? (laughs) I'm telling you right now. You're not allowed in the Dragon Riders. You, Listen, you son of a bitch. There's pirate. so many fucking mechanics that prevent that from being a problem. All right, listen, there's a circle that closes. You can't be a fat bitch forever. Also, what are you doing running around down below if you know that's what they're doing, Kyle? <laughs> Why the fuck are you not waiting behind cover and peeking them with the sentinel or peeking them with the bow? Or doesn't matter if I peek them with anything because I get stunned when I peek and then I get shot in the fucking head because they're like, oh, I'm just going to aim right at getting, you and never getting fucking it doesn't move. Getting stunned doesn't mean you can't shoot. All you have to do is duck back. Have you ever before tried to shoot when comes. someone's trying to blow your fucking brains out with Kyle, that shit? Kyle, oh I got Kyle. a question Dude, for you. Low, what low do you to your hate, argument, man. Kyle, no. what do you hate more, the charge rifle or cornbread? 
in this moment right now, what do you hate more? Why are you trying to stir this up right now? <laughs> Why are you just trying to stir the pot? First of all, I don't you know, listen. I'm, I'm just. I'm gonna say to everybody out there, I don't hate cornbread. I'm just so a down home boy. I have a. Down I'm just home. a down home boy. I, I'm just gonna throw this out there. I have a rarity on the grab my banner podcast right now. What is this? I agree with Troy. Oh Whoa. no! <laughs> all hell's Whoa. freezing over. So hold on. Let me get this out there, Kyle. So hold on, you you think that the shit fire is a decent weapon? No, I didn't say that. Like. I agree with Troy. You, said, you agree with Troy that you I never think that every what? gun that in did the I, game did should I say be on played. What? Did I say on what? What'd you say? I said I agree with Troy. I never said I agreed on what. I agree with Troy on his concept that, is that good. you need to learn how to fucking duck behind cover. Oh bitch. God, <laughs> suck my! <laughs> this comes listen, from the guy who listen. gets sniped Dude, <laughs> every listen. time. I tell I, him not to peek. You play what? Who do you play? Yeah, you play Revenant, oh, like, dude, bro. You play fucking Revenant. You get so, a free no, bullet. You get, it, dude. You you get a free, free life, life. Bro. Oh god, bro. Only you would need get two it, lives dude. to play this game. <laughs> oh my god, bro. Two lives to play this out. game. Bro. Fucking two to six. From two to six because my boy can't handle a whittle laser beam. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. First of all, okay. it ain't a whittle laser beam because it fucking slows you and then shoots your ass. Oh, Troy, no, it slows you like half the fucking weapons in the game. Uh, it's not half oh the fucking weapons. Oh, my God. Weapon. Just every heavy gun. Just every heavy gun. And every sniper. <laughs> it's the two shitty guns. Okay. Uh, no, it's every heavy gun and every sniper. There's only. First of all, I want to get this straight. There's only one, may, there's only two good heavy guns. The other one's sorry, a bitch sorry, weapon. Not, I mean heavy. Oh my heavy, God, he's still going at me. Oh my God. This is, there's there's really, two really, good there's guns. There's only two. There's only two. Yes. Okay. Name the, name the two. It's the wingman and the flatline. Really? Yeah. So the Spitfire doesn't slow and hasn't been fucking our ass for the past three months. It does three slow months. and it's a fat ass bitch weapon. But it hasn't been fucking our ass for the past three months? I play around it because I'm better than those fuckers. <laughs> so you can so play around the spinning, but you can't play around the wager beam? Wait, 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 I can't play wait. around the wager wait, beam, but I don't want to. <laughs> why are you saying it like that? You're, why? Just say laser beam. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Ca- oh, okay. shit. Okay. All right, so, so let's now get back to the Let's get back rankings. to the rankings. Troy, you want to hit it with your rankings? Dude. Um... I mean, but yeah, my number one is definitely Skulltown. There's just not, and to me, <clears throat> it's Skulltown and then a huge gap and then everything else. Skulltown is so fun to play. It reminds me of playing uh, Tatooine on uh, Battlefront. Ba- yeah, Battlefront yeah, too. It's so fucking dope, and I love it. It's got amazing, like, so many opportunities to interact with the environment and, like, create fun strategies uh, because it's such a varied uh, landscape. So. I don't think anything does it even close to as well as Skulltown does. So I can see why everybody misses it. I wish it was still in the regular game too. Uh, but my number one is definitely Skulltown. I'd be surprised if it wasn't everybody's. Number two for me is going to be Party Crasher. Uh, because I love having like poke wars and sniping back and forth. And then like sending one person around to like do a crazy flank. And then, you know, towards the end of the game, if you get there, if it's a longer one and, and you can last the circles out watching each other like leave your cover and like have to close the distance into the middle like to me that's like one of the most exciting uh arena situations is like late game at at party crasher and i really like sniping so and i i love the bow and uh i was just told that there was a huge buff to the longbow which i'm excited to try out but yeah yeah party crasher is fucking dope um and then artillery is my number three um And then four and five, like, I don't really know. I don't know what to do for four and five. Um, I really like gardens, so I probably will put gardens four. And then uh, terminal five, and then phase runner is definitely six. Because at my SBMM, everybody does, like, the same goddamn thing every time. Yeah. With go the through exce- the portal. They just go through the portal, and then it's grenades, and then it's, like, kill each other. And, the you know, the exception is Octane, which runs around the side, but, like, big fucking whoop. It's the same thing. So, for me, the big ta- takeaway is Skulltown by far number one and then there's a gap and then my number two is party crasher and then there's a little gap and then there's the rest of it. i think once you play overflow the gap will get a little smaller and that'll easily fit into your number two because it is like perfectly what skull town well i won't say perfectly but it was pretty damn close uh i don't think anything can do what skull town does but overflow is is just as good uh i'll go into my rankings um right after that uh, Skull Town is obviously number one. And now I ranked my list based on how I felt each one was like competitive wise, how you'd be able to play it in, in comp and how you'd like it in comp because we know that it's coming season 10, by the way. We know that that's going to happen season 10, competitive arenas. 
School Town gives you every single option available, whether it be weapons you want to use, whether it be team comps you want to try out, whether it be flanking positions, holding positions. It gives you every single aspect. And I doubt that that was what they were trying to do when this game first launched because they were just trying to make a place where everybody could converge and have a good time. But it's crazy how we all love School Town and we all loved what it was in the BR and it instantly translated into arenas like it's perfect it, it's it, just one of those places that you'll look back on fondly in 50 years and you'll be like that place was fucking sick i mean hopefully I mean, what was the biggest issue everyone had with school town was, was the loot the loot and what gets fixed guaranteed every time in arenas you get your loot the exactly loot. and exactly. it makes it's just so fun to fight on when you have that loot even in the br when you have the full loot and you're actually going up against just a squad and you know there's no third party say it's the last two squads school town always had that feel same thing here in arenas dude it has the perfect perfect feel to it so many different things you can try out i love flanking with pathfinder i've seen a lot of teams use the valk i've seen a lot of teams start to use like even caustic just yeah. trying to set up in the bottom areas. There's so, and then there's three different buildings that you can be on the roof fighting from. It's just, it's got it all. So it's just got it all. So then we move on to number two, and it is overflow. And overflow, well, we're, is, not, we're not doing. Oh, overflow sorry, yet. sorry, sorry. Redoing my list. Not number two. Number two, I move on to phase runner. Now I do understand what Troy has to say when it's pretty much the same thing over and over and over and over and over again. But as I've played more and more, and I think my SBMM is just a tad different, it doesn't happen the same way every time on phase runner for me. I also just think it looks nice, but I think phase runner gives you the options with the three different, um, or sorry, the two different uh, deposits, and then the the heels. There's lots of convergence on there, but also that circle that sometimes happens in the middle is very interesting because sometimes they'll go. Th one team will go through the portal, and the other team will go around to the other side, and that convergence in the middle is super fun. You can do the sniper thing, or you can try to rush up and use like octane and uh, and use the R99 and, and shorter range weapons. I got destroyed by a team. Uh, on phase runner earlier today using the octane and like a wraith and i think a lifeline and they just bum rushed every single time so it gives you those options i really do like phase runner and i think it's it's good it's a good design i think they if they really wanted to make phase runner a little bit better where the two portals come together rather than having all the cover on the top put all the cover on the bottom if they take away that cover on the top, the second you come out of the portal, you're instantly jumping down into the bottom area, and now you're forcing around like a fight if they had like a maze right there. I think that'd be so fun. You got people climbing up top, then dropping back down, moving around left, right, whatever you're trying to do. If you really want to ramp it up, I think you do that. I think that'd be an interesting way to see how Phase Runner plays. Uh, then I got Artillery. I hated Artillery <laughs> for a long time absolutely despised it but now i can see why it's so good because now you have a lot of options to artillery is your number three yes artillery is my number three bro what the fuck's wrong with you dude i i like the sniping ability but i also like the pushes and the different the way you can use the different buildings i do also like the buildings on uh i would i guess you could say the far right or far left uh, that the go into ones. the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah the and short you, ones. The, the battles on those are so fun for me. Those bunker battles, I love those. The so bunker battles are my favorite. That's the it's only good the part long, of the map. Yeah. It's just the long range fights I don't dig. Bro, yeah, I the long range the fights. Come down. Yeah. Um, my favorite thing to do in artillery is to use the charge rifle and shoot people uh, <laughs> while I'm there and just have, like, honestly, especially when I got, like, just a nice old plate of cornbread. And I'm just sitting there fucking using that charge. -y. Wait, are you leaving the the workhorses? Is that what happened? No, no, no. Uh, I'm just saying for this map in particular, I'd never leave the workhorses. But, you know, that's just, you know, I just love. So are you a full-fledged workhorse now? Oh, yeah, 100%. Okay, so you're the legitimate leader of the workhorses. Yeah, actually, on the last episode, I said the workhorses would cha were changing their guns. So I made my first executive order. We're changing it to the L-Star. That's going to be our new annoying gun to use on people. So I'm pretty psyched for that. Mm. <clears throat> I, I better inform Dallin he's been using the L-Star. Nice. That nice. he might be a workhorse. Thank I you. also don't appreciate you guys not using my full clan name. The Cornbread Cowboy Clan. You didn't say Cowboy Clan the first that. time. Yeah, you didn't say you it was implied. That, you just said the down oh, whore, down hole, or what is it? Down home. Oh, I thought it was down whore. My bad. Down <laughs> oh my God. But yeah, I mean, I'm, I am, 
I just love playing artillery and getting my cornbread and <laughs> grabbing my charge rifle. I you really don't use a charge rifle except for people on artillery. Yeah. Anyway. Mm. Uh, then I move on to gardens. Uh, I do like the long range in gardens. Now the thing is, I'm not a big sniper. Uh, I don't really pick up snipers that often, and I don't really use the bow too often either. But the thing that I like with gardens is the roofs of each of those buildings. I like fighting on those and then going down into the buildings, having people push on top of you. I, I think gardens fits into like a good category too. I could Some days I would probably put it above artillery, um, but I, I do like gardens. The only reason I put it a little bit down below is I don't think it has the same uh, juice that those bunker battles have for me. Then I got thermal station. That one's more of just a fun one. I love thermal station. It's just fun for me. It's not like a competitive map though there's just that one building in the middle there's you've got a million grenades going in there you've got shit going there there is no reason to play a thermal station on the outside there's no reason to so any map that's like that i don't see is very competitive and that's how i ranked my list but i do think thermal station is fun as fuck when you're just playing casually and you're just going straight into the middle with like an eva 8 maybe a few grenades you're tossing them in there you're shitting on people last one for me is party crasher i've come around on it a little bit like i said i i I like it a little bit more now that the circle moves around but it's still my least favorite map I don't really particularly like to play it. Uh, I don't really care for how it looks either. I just don't really like the map. Um, It's just not... It's never been my favorite. I don't like the roof battle on the opposite side of the ship. Those ones are like so... I, I, uh, I feel weird. I feel weird in those zones. So I don't really care for Party Crasher and that rounds out my list. Brian. Um, no, number one, how could you not have Skull Town? No, dude. That's number one. Like, you have to have Skull Town as number one. Like... There's no way around it. The best high ground, the best low ground, to me that's a huge thing, is that the team in the less advantageous position has a chance to come back and still be able to fight to some degree. And this is coming from someone who plays fucking Horizon. Like, I'm going to get the high ground every fucking time. But I love the way the flow of Skull Town worked uh, as far as uh, everyone, for the most part, started in the high ground. Everyone was trying to take the high ground. You would battle it out there poke if you took advantage of heals it wasn't even necessarily a knock if you got a knock that's great but if you didn't get a knock you were just trying to play that poke game and try to whittle down their heals to a degree to where they had to say i can't heal and stand up top anymore and fight with this team i have to go to the bottom and they would continue that trend throughout the rest of the game and then it comes to who wins in the trenches who's the best team when it just comes down to fast moving aim and positioning and to me, that is what Apex is all in one. It is a fast movement, being able to aim and position yourself in a way that you will win each and every fight and take a series of one-on-ones, which is exactly what Skulltown has the uh, opportunity to provide to you. So Skulltown to me is everything Apex should be and is number one on my list. Number two, easy for me, Party Crasher. Party Crasher, I love a long-range fight. Um, But I do love that everyone does try to go to the ship as kind of the standard for it. Everyone goes to the ship. We're willing to fight in close range, and we can have that experience of a close range fight. But it gives you a little bit of variety if you want to play that long range and want to play the other side. Now that the circle's kind of been fixed on it a little bit more, you get to play that long range a little more. I like it a lot better now than it was. Um, Number three, got to go to Gardens. Gardens, very similar play style to party crasher it's everyone kind of goes to whatever side the circle is on for the most part and wants to be able to push in if you can't take it you take the low ground kind of like you would on skull town you take underneath the building whatever it was which you whichever side it was but more towards the party crasher side it gives you a little bit of both worlds you have to play a little different and for someone who likes the single fire guns like a wingman like a g7 like a sentinel or just loves to play up close and spray using a volt using an r9 just feels amazing never touch that spitfire though fuck that shit um number four i've got phase runner i get what troy says about it potentially getting repetitive which is why it's rated down at four for me instead of higher like kyle and wyatt but i still think that it is a really good map and when i first started playing it a lot of people were trying to run through the portal exclusively um this past two weeks i've spent more time fighting on the non-portal side than the portal side itself so 
playing that middle ground area is really what set it apart for me and giving that kind of different game feel to it. The fight where you're fighting on the other side of that big ass wall yeah, the on the red, right side, the red building. Yeah. That is like some of my favorite fights right oh, there. Cause I, you're kind of like poking and pushing until somebody finally pushes through the red wall. So my favorite like fight is when you push the red building, but mm-hmm. the other team goes to the portal and you guys meet in the center. That's a good one too. I love that fight because there's so many different angles that you could take on either side that anytime anytime you get the chance to put a team in a crossfire in this game mode, you have the opportunity to completely demolish and humiliate them. And mm-hmm. that to me is one of the most satisfying things in this game is putting them so far in a hole that they just feel defeated and they want to rage quit. I love that feeling in, in ranked. Yeah. Or not in ranked, in arenas. Yeah. So, for me, Phase Runner is up there quite a bit. Uh, for f- My fifth is Thermal Station. Very fun map. Uh, it is fast-paced. It's up close. It's personal. Um, who comes down? Who has better aim? Who can hit better? All that kind of shit. But I would say it's, it's just lackluster compared to the rest. And then my last one is Artillery. Artillery is the worst map in this entire lineup it is not only the worst map in this entire lineup it is arguably one of the worst point of interest in the entire map and i wished out of everything that respawn has decided to destroy in this entire game that artillery would have been leveled to the ground they would have been better off having a blank stage with nothing to hide on than play artillery artillery is the epitome of trash it is something that should have never been played and something that promotes degenerates that use charge rifles it promotes degenerates that use spitfires sitting inside buildings it promotes people who as of recent times and as they've caught on are starting to hard crutch the eva 8 up close it is like a charge rifle at far and then you close the range to find a spitfire or an eva 8 on the other side of that is one of the most frustrating things, and it is only realistic in this one map. It is something that should not be allowed. It is something that Apex needs to fix, and it is something that should never come into rotation again. Therefore, artillery is flat out six. If I could give it a negative, or not even a negative, if I could give it a fucking hundred, I would, because that would put it so low on the fucking list that it would never see the light of day. One thing I want to say really, really quick. If you ever buy the Spitfire, and then also buy the Charge Rifle, you are like the biggest bitch in all of Apex community. You should probably just awesome. uninstall the game. Regardless, Artillery is the place for degenerates in this game. 100%. Okay, so that's Brian's list. Uh, <laughs> like we said before, if we had to throw it in there, Kyle, I'm putting Overflow at number two. Where are you putting it? Oh, I would definitely put Overflow at number two. Okay, so Overflow, I, once you guys test it out, you guys are going to fucking love the map. It's you need to check out Overflow. You need to go out out there, check it out, see the Easter eggs for yourself, have some fun in the map with yourself, hit some flanks, hit some shots, make sure you pick up the charge rifle. You, uh, oh, fuck, Don't sorry. My bad. The charge My bad. Rifle. I was reading the uh, wrong script here. Uh, so I would, Such a anyway. Bitch. All right, boys. Well, that should just about wrap it up for the discussion this week. Best arena map. Uh, Segment went a little long because we had to have a discussion about, like, fucking cornbread and cowboys and stuff like that. All I know is the fucking cornbread motherfuckers use the therm or use the uh, fucking uh charge rifle charge rifle. Thank you. We use everything. Use charge rifle on the fucking thermal We play the whole game. Down home cornbread. Down home. That's a sick name. I don't even care who you are. That's not a sick name. That's a Listen, sick name. If you paid for the game, hey, guess what? The game was free. But I know all of y'all. <laughs> yeah, everybody, that, everybody, that everybody, listen. Was free. Everybody here, everybody here has paid for at least something in game. Even yeah. me. Even me. So you paid whatever you paid to to be playing the game. Play all of it. Play all the game. Don't Play let motherfuckers game. tell you what is and isn't cool. If you if you enjoy using something, use it. Everything is balanced enough that anybody can play against you if they don't suck ass. Down home. Down home. All I want you to know is that if you use the charger for your punk ass bitch. <laughs> Listen. Down you home. You can go ahead and use it. I'm going to fuck you up with both of them, but regardless, you're still a punk ass bitch. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we're going to move on, do a quick uh, little talk about the Thrill Seeker event. We're going to hit a quick ad. We will see you guys on the other side.
All right, boys. Thrill Seeker event is out, like we just talked about. A brand new map came with it, but we're going to use this segment to talk about skins. Now, we've never really set aside time to ever talk about skins, and I don't know why, because skins are such a major portion of every single video game right now, including this one, because, like Troy said before, this was a free game. But have they enticed us to buy skins? Yes. These skins have taken a good portion of my wallet i will say that so boys let's go through these skins real quick uh let's get one quick thing out of the way um apex literally cannot get out of their own way whenever they drop a new update and just have things go wrong so uh half the day you couldn't play duos or trios or ranked you could only play arenas uh which i thought was hilarious it's getting to the point now where i just laugh at it um it, but it, it's kind of sad uh, but every single time there's an update, some Something. shit happens. Yeah. Every single time. We can't escape it. And it's very sad. One of the hamsters that are running the service just passes out. Passes out. He needs some water. He needs some food. He like Bro, that, That's legitimately what it seems like. It's so <laughs> like, <I> bad. <laughs> I'm sitting here going, that, that is way too fucking It is <laughs> so bad, bro. But uh, one thing about these events that I really like is now that there's a brand new game mode, we are consistently going to get more and more events every single season with cool stuff like this because this is the second time they've done an arenas pop up uh, like event, right? Yeah. We had the Pathfinder uh, chameleon skin yeah. a few weeks ago or a few months ago, whichever, I don't even know. But now we get another one. We have four skins that we got to go through real well, quick. Well, one thing, really quick, that I want to talk before. Yeah. One thing I want to talk about before we go through the skins. They actually have Thrill Seeker trackers um, for weekly uh, trackers so you can earn free stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. Weeks. They have a tracking thing. Yeah. So there's actually one for July 13th through the 20th, one for July 20th through the 27th, and one for July 27th through August 3rd. So they have one for each week. And a special thing I want to po point out is the July 27th through the August 3rd one, there's a charm with boxing gloves. Oh, different kind of but boxing two gloves. Two different colors. Hold up. And they're Let two me different see colors. Yeah. Is one red ever last time? Well, one's red. It's and got one's a blue. lightning bolt on it. Two different colors, bro. I'm telling that's you, they they might be doing not, some some crazy shit with the heirlooms coming that's up. That's not here, exactly Pathfinder's glove, but who knows? But I do like the red one that i don't care if it has the lightning bolt on it like that's still pretty sick it's pretty sick apex likes to dangle their balls in our face when they're getting ready to drop something new they're just dangling balls they're dangling balls right now so if you like kyle said there's three different arenas uh like just from playing the game you will get special skins special gun charms and special gun skins the first week you end with an awesome 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 rampart skin Dope. and i am so happy they made this free just by playing the game because this skin is one of the best skins that she has the in rampart her skin actually right looks really cool all right so let's and then the second week you're gonna get all uh it's just battle pass stars for the battle pass stars and then you get some uh packs you get some packs and then the last week you get those gloves you get a little um bang loading skin. screen and then you get the bang skin at the end so bunch of skins boys let's go through the motherfucking big boy skins and we're gonna start with the gibraltar ringleader skin now this one Gotta be one of the coolest skins Gibraltar has. His shield is a giant bull. It's gold. He also has a sick-looking mask. Loki looks like Bane from Batman. It does. Uh, Not even Loki. It's straight up as it, Bane it, from It Batman. really is. But this one, I gotta give out of 10, I'm going with a 7.5. I give it an 8. Give it an 8. I'm giving it a 9. I really love the fucking... Like, well, you're a huge Batman fan as well. I'm a huge Batman fan as well, but I love the way this skin looks. I love the shield. I just think it's dope. I think the bull horns and everything just make it look Now, good. this skin with the heirloom would be Dude, awesome. Dude, yeah, because you can look at the shield. Because you can look at the shield. So, Troy. Absolute 8. Absolute 8. Yeah, okay. 100%. <laughs> that one is called the ringleader. Then we move on to... Uh, you know what? I'm saving mirages for the end. Uh, we move on to Revenant seeing red. Now, if you're a Star Wars fan, okay, you're going to get some uh, definite General Grievous vibes from this bad boy because he's got the face 
that looks just like General Grievous here. Uh, his shoulders kind of look like Pokeballs. Uh, he's got a weird color scheme. It's like red, purple, white, and yellow. And he's got a weird, like, cowl over the back of his head. Yeah. So this yeah. one, probably my least favorite out of all of them. Uh, I would probably give that one a five. General Kenobi. Um I'd have to say I, I'm I'm a Revenant fan, and plus I do uh, General Grievous is one of my favorite Star Wars characters, so this is high for me. I would say it's like an eight. You're gonna give that one an eight too. Yeah, I'm gonna give that an okay. eight. Okay. I actually gave the Gibraltar one a nine. Just caught something, but we'll get to that in a minute. Um, let's see, General Grievous. I love the head right here. Um, I, the head makes me want to give it a seven, and then I look at the rest of the body, and this looks like something that I would draw as a six year old. Um, Very true. It's like that color, meme. like the color scheme is just off. The Weird. purple has no business being in there. That fucking white and red, like red on top, white on bottom, fucking pokeball shoulders, not good. Like not a good look. Uh, it looks like he has fucking pit stains with the yellow. You ever see that meme where like they draw the horse and the back of it's like perfectly drawn, and then like the rest of it, it looks like it's drawn by a six year old. <laughs> that's like literally <laughs> that's what this skin is. Um, <laughs> That is 100% what this is. Um, that being said, I just caught something. Kyle, show me a photo of those gloves again. Is that the same lightning bolt on his shoulder as it is on the red pair of gloves? I think Let's so. See. Is that referencing the little boxing match thing we saw in the arenas of uh, Pathfinder? and? Oh, at the end of the video? Yeah, at the end yeah. of the video. They're similar. I don't know if they're the exact same. Mm, it's pretty close, though. Yeah, they're similar. So maybe... I wonder Revenant? if that's a. I wonder if that's just a reference to. It. He's not going to get boxing gloves. We know no, that. No, he already has his. But thing, like, I I wonder if he's going to get some sort of detail towards that. Could be at some point in time. Could I, be. It's just curious to me. Yeah, it might be. But that being said, I give this a solid fucking three. Okay, like, Brian's going harsh with that, it. Listen, if it was just the head and it followed the suit of that, we'd be probably looking at like a seven. Uh huh. But it's a fucking three without that. Yeah. Sorry, Kyle. I, like I want to give it more. I, like I want to give it too. more. That's really all good. Do. Troy. I'm with Brian. I, I feel the exact same way. I really like... I like the loincloth looking shit, and I like the cowl, and I like the reference to Grievous with the face, even though it wasn't intentional, I, I, I don't think. But I, those are the three things I like about it. Everything else I dislike really strongly. I don't like, any, I don't like anything else other than those right? little components. So I, I'm going to give it a three. Then we move on to Pathfinder, Downright Fierce. I bought this one instantly. Uh, what I like about this skin is I do think the color scheme is oddly similar to the uh, Plastic Fantastic, which I enjoy. And then I, since I have already, since I have already played with the skin, um, he has rope tied around his arms. It's almost like they tried to make him a mummy. So I, I do like that, and then you see like the uh, the thing on the top of his head right there. He, it has like a whole like mummification vibe to it. So I really do like this one. I'm giving that one still. I, I don't like it as much as Plastic Fantastic. That is like my ten range. I'll probably give that one like a seven point three. I'd give it like a six. You know, like the you know, like the other stuff. Not really. Also, the screen on that skin does different stuff than the screen on all of his other skins, which I thought was cool. That, that is cool. That okay. is a lot of his skins though that are. Different, Anytime there's that. little Easter eggs like that in an, in like a, a skin, I'll always give it like an extra point five, just because it's like cool to have yeah. that little significance right there. I feel. Like I think even it, like I look at it the same way. It's like it's kind of like a cool little add on, but it's not enough to take it up a whole level. I look at this and it's just. To me, it falls flat. I love Pathfinder. I do. Pathfinder is probably my favorite legend in this game. But it's it just falls flat to me. I got to give it like a, a six. Going with a six. Yeah. Okay, I got 7.3. You got six. Troy. I'm going to give it a 6.5. 6.5. Yeah. All right, 6.5. Then we go on to the last one. We've got Mirage as Chuckles the Barrel Man. Okay. And this falls into the category of something so terrible, something so awful, something that should have never graced our eyes, but it makes it that much better. It's so bad, oh, what it's good. About? This is a 9.7 out of 10 because it is so god-awful. It's just something that if you play Mirage and you don't have the skin, you're a bum. Bro, I, listen, I'm telling you right now, I'm going home and buying that skin. Not because it's awful. I fucking love that Wait, skin. Wait, you you think it's good? Let me see this. <laughs> Bro, you don't think it's he's bad? straight up a fucking rodeo clown. Yeah. Bro, that is 
golden. I love that. That is everything to the Mirage personality. Like, listen, Mirage's skins are all catered around who his character is. Okay. This just screams, I'm a fucking goon. Well, it, yeah. it also adds to it that the name is Chuckles the Barrel. <laughs> that is also amazing. <laughs> that is hilarious. <laughs> Kyle, what do you listen. got? I actually think this fucking this thing's great. This and is I, one of the reason why I think it's so great is imagine you get killed by a mirage wearing this fucking thing. Dude, you're gonna be ten times more quitting. pissed. Yeah. Dude, you're rage quitting immediately Listen, you're after. Insta quitting. What, how yeah. bad do you feel if a mirage ults on you, bamboozles the fuck out of you, kills you, and teabags you as a clown? As chuckles the as fucking chuckles barrel, as chuckles. barrel man. As chuckles. I wish. I wish so much that there was kill like you could talk to somebody when you killed them <laughs> and you could be like, you just got chuckled, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> death yeah. comms, bro, would oh, fucking... And this amazing. game would be revolutionary. Oh, my God. Uh, I lo- death comms amazing. in this game would increase the player base so much. Just yeah. saying. Yeah. I would watch videos of death comms because I, I see the death comms in COD and it's just hilarious to watch those. <laughs> and just- Some of the conversations in death comms you hear in COD is just hilarious. <laughs> just I, that's, so, that's one of the best things about that game and I wish Apex had it. Yeah. So that should just about round it out. Go make sure you guys play and get that Rampart skin the first week. It's that shit sick. is awesome. Make sure you get that. Get all your stuff. Get yourself Chuckles the Barrel Man. We're going to be moving on into the gambling segment of the show. We're going to hit a quick ad, and we will see you guys on the other side. All right, here we are. Gambling segment. Um, We are all good gamblers. That is the good news. The bad news is uh, Kyle is on the verge of winning his first ever championship, and I am not ready for that post-game speech. Kyle is still sitting number one. He's got 1,520 bones. More than anybody. About 500 more than anybody next on the table. Second place is me, 1,070. Third place is Troy, 1,027. And fourth place is Brian, 1,018. Second, third, and fourth are just mere bones away from each other. Less than 60 apart. Less than 60 apart on each one. All of us are above a thousand. That's the first time that has ever happened in gambling history. There's nobody in the basement right now. Or you could say, well, Wyatt, Troy, and Brian are all in the basement because Kyle is 500 ahead. But still, still not breaking my record, Brian. But w- what we've known about Kyle is things tend to go <laughs> wrong. Okay, things tend to go wrong. We have also Kyle. made a quick adjustment to the rules here because uh, last week. We had some bets getting thrown out early, so we decided to make a change. The person in first place now has to read their card first so that if somebody has their bets, they have an opportunity to – somebody below them has their bets. They have the opportunity to change them, to give them a chance at winning the season. Uh, So we are going to be switching that. So Kyle will read his card off first. But boys, how are we feeling so far? It's going to be a tough week. I'm looking at the board what you, right what now. Do you, what do you guys think of the locks? I will say this. Brian made these total kills like really low on like yeah. everybody except Troy where he maxed it out at fucking 29. <laughs> Troy told me he was going to play like he did last week. Listen, I don't have I'm tro- any stats on Troy actually trying to play. Well, you had this week, but that's, that's one it. week. That's one week. That's I'm my getting, baseline. I'm, and I'm, I still put it beneath I'm stepping up. I adjusted my to adjust my sensitivity halfway through my matches because I'm too good for my sensitivity now. Oh, dude, I'm growing. I'm growing as a as a. So pec. you had to move up. Gro- the I did. I'm growing as a pex player. That's good. I'm glad. I'm glad to hear that. Actually. So we have. Uh, so you don't play on one two anymore. Dude, I never played on one two. First of all, you play one two. One two is what I hit your mama with. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, I know. So Shots we, fired. So we've got <clears throat> lots of low kill lines, except for Troy's. We've got plenty of uh, low assist lines on me and Kyle. Me and Kyle had a terrible week, by the way. Oh. Played awful. Uh, both of us, our lines are sitting really low. So if you're looking for a bounce back week, why it's not that low for your lines? <laughs> what do you mean? My kills last week were at 51. Oh, I thought you were talking about your assists. Oh, no, my assist is bad. Um, the my, assists are, yeah. Yeah, my kill line last week is almost like, it's like 10 below what it was. You've also been on a negative trend for three weeks. True. What? Yeah. 
Look at your, your stats. Look at your stats. Look you, at your stats. Take do, a look. You, do you feel it? Take just, a look at your co line for the last three weeks. What is it th- this past week? Do you feel it just getting away? Negative from trend. You? You've been down. Oh my god. Fifty one forty seven. Fifty one. 47. And then this week was low. But what was it? 51 what was and 47 are like four. 51, 47. And 34. Oof. One bad week. Uh, that's a big This oof. is that's, only one I sheet did. of paper. If I had the other sheet, that the other sheet was at almost 50. It's a dropping. And then you know that so 37 is a lock. Yeah. Okay. I mean, if you want to bet it, bet it. Bet on yourself. Do you really feel like it's a lock, Bob? I do. 37? I th- That's a lock. So that's like an you know, average of three per game. A little more than that. Yeah. That's that's to, why I have numbers. That's my numbers. Um, I think that's low. I think that's actually insultingly low. Uh, I think Kyle's is insultingly low. 33. Same. Terrible. Uh, Kyle, insulting. do you want to take a look at your track record? I know my track record is... <laughs> listen, my track record is bad, but it's not 33 bad. Uh, let's see. What is this? Uh, he's, um, he's hitting him. Last week, 35. Week before that, 31. Week before that, 44. No, that's up. That's yeah, two weeks ago, three weeks ago. So it's you having a. Dude, I, I've been I've been every other week. I've been good and bad. So good and bad every other them. week. You beat it by one kill last week. Or no, sorry, but what what I set the line at? It was. It's thirty three. I'm thirty three. Oh, I sorry, you 35. beat it by two. You beat you beat it by two kills. Still beat it. By two. It wins a win, baby. And you you missed it by two the week before that. Just saying. I did miss it by two the week before that. This is interesting. Listen. Especially because me. Troys are so high. Troys are high. Troys are incredibly high. Let's get to the lines real quick. Let's read them through. I'll start at the top right here. We got me, total kills at 37, halves at 18.5. Total assists at 17, halves at 8.5. Total knocks at 44, halves at 22. Total rounds won at 28.5, halves at 14.5. Total rounds played at 50.5, halves at 25.5. Total wins... At 6.5, halves at 3.5. And total perfect games at 3.5, halves at 1.5. That seems like an under right there for perfect games. Uh, Kyle, we've got total kills at 33, halves at 16. Total assists uh, assists at 16, halves at 8.5. Knocks, 46, halves at 23.5. Rounds 1, 25, halves at 12.5. Rounds played, 53, halves at 26.5. Wins, 7.5, halves at 3.5. And perfect games, halves at 3.5. Uh, oh, sorry, total at 3.5, halves at 1.5. We move on to Troy. Total kills, 29, halves at 15. Total assists, 20, halves at 10. Total knocks, 34, halves at 17. Total rounds won, 26, halves at 13. Total rounds played, 52, halves at 26. Total wins, 6.5, halves at 3.5. Total perfect games, 3.5, halves at 1.5. Brian, total kills at 31, halves at 15.5. Assists, 26, halves at 13. Knocks, 34, halves at 17. Rounds won at 27, halves at 13.5. Rounds played at 54, halves at 27. Wins, 6.5, halves at 3.5. And perfect games, 2.5, halves at 1.5. How are you going to put your only... You're the only one with perfect games at 2.5. Because I got zero this week. Holy shit. Okay. (laughs) That's why it's beneath you guys. So, this is seeming like... the, The way this looks is Brian is trying to look at all of us and say, prove it. He's looking at Troy and saying, Listen, saying, if I, you can do it, do it again. He's looking at me and saying, you're a shitbag. You need to play better. And he's looking at Kyle and saying, you're a shitbag. You need to play better. Yeah, but what I've seen is downward trends out of you and Kyle for the past three weeks. I disagree. 100%. Well, hold on. I've seen downward trends on you and Kyle. Stats show it. This is what stats show. Not what I show. No. Not what I think. But this is what I've seen. You guys have been a downward trend for the past three weeks. So your stats are going to trend downward. Accordingly, not as low as you were last week, but not as high as you were two weeks ago. Troy, I said it before. I don't have any real stats on you actually trying. When you really sit down, you focus, you warm up, you go through the whole regimen to dial in and slay. We all knew you could play first person shooters. Now we get to see the effect. 
this is me saying, show it again. Just show it again. That's it. And mine are probably a little inflated in some stats and a little deflated in other stats. I didn't know what to do with my stats. I don't know where I'm at right now. I'm looking at these stats, and there's one giant missed flaw you have right here. Tell me. In two weeks ago, we, me and Kyle played 64 total rounds. And the week after, we only played 49, and we were still barely lower on every single stat. But that's here's the thing, though. Like, you're playing the extra rounds, and you're barely lower. You're playing the lower rounds, you're barely lower. Or you're playing the extra rounds, you're barely above. You're playing the uh, less rounds, and you're barely below it. That still says your numbers are consistently down. No, regardless, hit- your numbers are consistently down. You're banking on that point of not winning games as quick and not getting as no. Many we won. Games. We won six games in a row, and two but of those many? were perfects. Jeez. Two of them, but what were the other ones? How I many mean, rounds did they go? I don't think there. Was, I think there was one nine rounder. I think everything else was. Oh, dude, a pretty- nine rounder makes such a big difference. No, a nine rounder could be the equivalent. In the win streak, the highest we played was six. Okay, but outside of that. I think there's one nine runner. No, in this entire second week, the we, highest we, we didn't have a nine runner. Okay. No. Listen, if you see a flaw in the sheet, I don't see a flaw in the sheet. I'm just saying, if, if you see a flaw in the sheet, exploit it. Bet on it. I just take, I just take it to heart when I see that low of a kill line. That bothers me. That bothers me. Then, As a competitor, then, that bothers me. Then prove it. I I'm mean, gonna, you're, you're I a will. pro now. You're a pro now, I w- so you have to. Prove I am it. a pro. LFT <laughs> looking for team, looking for team. I haven't got one single. T- I mean, I've had plenty of DMs. Getting getting me ready for this pro scene. So if you're looking, I mean, you better hurry because I haven't gotten a single. I mean, I have like a bunch of DMs <laughs> in my account. Right there's another one. Oh, that's my mom. Uh, sorry. Anyway, so we she have even text you, Brian. I was being a showman, okay, <laughs> and you just ruined the showmanship, okay. <laughs> that's what you just did, bro. You turned that's your what, own phone on. That's yeah, because I have when I'm I'm a showman, Brian. Like I have to actually act it who out. You, I can't just not. Who are you showing? Just not we don't do have it. a camera here. Who are you showing? Well, it's like I can't he's like. Getting he's getting I'm getting into the character. Into the character. <laughs> I'm getting into the character, Brian. There's still no text. <laughs> you're fucking it up, right? Oh my god, Brian. <laughs> you're you're fucking barrel. You're fucking. What's his name? Chuckles the Barrel Man. That's who you are. Chuckles You're a clown. the Barrel Man. <laughs> um, uh, anyway, so. How do you feel, Wybab, about your wins? Uh, 6.5. Me and you have crushed it the last two weeks. Yeah, I think we could get seven. You think we get seven? I think we could get seven. Okay. I think this week was particularly bad because. You got less than seven. We got six. So, I mean, we were one below. I also played two games without you. Yeah, you did play two so, games. And those two games out without you were two of my worst games. Uh, one kill each. Um, I should have known better than to play the second one. But the second uh, – two ra- two games, one round one in both of those Holy games. Holy fuck. That's so, terrible. Terrible. So I think we could easily get seven, seven wins. Yeah. I don't think that's a sweat at all. Okay. Um, Brian, how yeah. are you feeling about your kills? I mean, I feel better. Like, okay, 15 feels fairly consistent. I feel like I could get 15 a quarter. Okay. The 31 is where you might actually be a little safer betting the under on that one. Okay. That's where my spite bet's going to go. I don't know if it's a spite bet if I'm telling you to do it. Still a spite bet in my heart. It is. If it makes you feel better. I hope it does. It does make me feel better. I'm going to spite and I'm gonna, you. And I'm going to fucking love it when you miss the line because I'm going to crush that fucking shit. I hope you crush it. But if you say, don't. Did, did it even matter what I answered? You're going to spite better regardless. <laughs> if you crush it, it doesn't matter. But if you don't crush it, I spite bet the Bro. shit out of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. So it's a win-win. Uh, all right. Um, I may have set that kill line in pen before I... Uh, I actually recounted my my kill total. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! All right, this makes it even better as a spite bet. Um, all right, I think I know what my bet's gonna be then. Okay. All right. So whenever you're ready with the card. All right. I didn't write mine down, so Brian, you might want to write this down. Yeah, sure. Uh, I, I write it down every fucking week. All right, sick. Um, <clears throat> I'm betting a thousand two hundred bones. Actually. I'll save that last. 
I'm betting 160 bones on Brian's kills under, and that is my spite bet for this week. Okay. As a fuck you. And um, I am betting 1,000, I mean, not 1,000, 160 bones to um, Wyatt's kills over. And the remaining 1,200 bones, I am betting on my kills over. Okay. That's big baller stuff right there. That's Please big fuck stuff. your kill line. Oh, my God. Kyle, if you fuck yourself. I do. On the kill. <laughs> wait. <laughs> th- wait, what? <laughs> oh, on pause. <laughs> pause. Pause. If I do fuck myself, then Listen, I fuck myself. But if, if you, I pull it if out. If you take your one chance to win. Your first ever. You hold first the entire time off spite bets. Yes. And you get off the spite bets and decide to bet on yourself and mm. you fuck yourself. I'm going to laugh so hard because, oh, you know what? If you can't bet on yourself. Who are you going to bet on? Apparently everybody else. Hey, hey, listen. Spite bets got me this far, but if I don't win it for myself, then is it really a win? That's true. Yes. Yes, it is. A no. win's a win. No. Listen, if my story taught you anything, it's that you better be playing for yourself. Because at the end of the road, that's all you got. Yes, sir. Me and Pamela Henderson. Okay, so that <laughs> Kyle's betting strategy changes my betting strategy. That's uh, yeah, drastic. We, we have to be able to beat Kyle. Well, I no disrespect to my teammate here. Because uh, I'm going to be doing the same thing. I'm going to be betting on my kills. But instead of doing... I bet um, on my kills, not yours. No, 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 I know. But I'm doing similar to what you're doing where I'm betting on myself, you're betting on yourself. Yes. So, but instead of doing that, that bet is not a lock. Would you agree? Like, it's not 100% a lock. What do you mean, my kills? There, Yeah, there is gray area. Depending on who our third teammate is, depending on if we hit the right SBMM train, or do you You don't think there's no gray area? I think I'm going to win it. Okay. Uh, how many bones do I have again? You have 1,027 bones. Okay, I'm going to bet one bone on Shocker. Brian's kills under. <laughs> I'm going to bet one bone on Brian's wins under. And I'm going to bet the uh, other 1,025 bones on my own kills over. What the fuck? Yeah. On fuck, 29? Fuck all you guys. On 29? I'm literally locking that shit in. I got complete confidence in myself. Have you been playing Bloodhound? Is that yeah. who you're playing? Mm-hmm. Okay. I have complete confidence in myself. I have okay. absolutely no doubt. Next week, I'm going to get 35 plus. I will say, on his team, there's nobody competing for kills with him. That is true. Not even close. I was the best player on my team out of 12 games, well, I think 11 Well, times. when you're playing with kids with no thumbs... That probably helps. Bro, some of these kids weren't terrible. Go like this. Okay, so I'm going to split mine four different ways uh, because there's two bets now on the table that are not complete locks. There's gray areas there. There's some gray areas. Okay, so I'm splitting mine into four different bets, all the same amount, 200 and, uh, oops, divided by four, 267 on each bet. Okay, the first one is my kills over. The second one is my knocks over. The third one is Troy's uh, rounds one over. And then the last one is going to be Brian's assists over. And then I have one bet left with two remaining bones. And I'm going to spite bet that on Brian's kills under. (laughs) That's the spite bet of the yeah, week, yeah, baby. That's the spite bet of the you week. said you had two bones left. Yeah, from Fuck all you. that. Yeah, that, that those are the two fucks I don't give. <laughs> <laughs> and that'll round out my card. Gift of the All Father. I'm gonna say on my knocks over. Really, not on my fucking kills. You know that is enticing, Brian. Uh, just for spite, not for the bones. Yeah, I would exactly. Gain. <laughs> but I will put it on my knocks over at 44. How do you feel about your knocks at 44? Well, so Brian, this is why I put my gift of the All Father on it. Looking at the research here, if we go back to the last two weeks, even if you say there's a regression here, 
60 and 58. That's, that's the last three weeks. Last three weeks, right? So let's go back to the third week. That's what I'm saying. My like knocks it, were 60. It looks like my how knocks low were can you 58, fall? right? And then it went to 43. Like how low can it fall? Yeah. Is the thing. That's what I'm looking at. Me and Kyle also played uh, not that many rounds. We played 55. That week we popped off, we played 64. So how do you feel about 22 in the second half? 22 in the second half. Uh, we do tend to play better in the second half. I will say the way the SBMM seems to work, your yep, first two games, you suck. Yeah. And then, and then you, do that, well, you do well. And then you suck. And then the second the... half, it gives you like two games right before you finish that you suck. Yeah. That's the way I've noticed it. Like it just does it. The last two ending games are always. The we had me and Kyle played a game where an octane tap strafed off a wall, did a spin. I still knocked him, but he like got me hella low. And then uh, the next round, he had jump padded behind all of us, shot me in the air, threw an arc star, stuck me with the arc star mid air, and I was like, "Why are we playing these guys?" Like it was literally fucking insane. Yeah, that's just the way it works. Yeah. <laughs> Anytime you get stuck with an arc star, it's immediate. In midair from an Octane who already tried to tap strafe wingman you in the fucking yeah, head. That, that's like, the immediately feel bad. Yeah, so that's the way that works. Plus, I, dude, when it, all three players buy a wingman, it's just. I hate And they that. focus fire you, you're just I enraged. I hate that. If it's one guy, I'm fine with it. If it's but one when guy it's with a wingman. all three, dude. It's like when three people buy a Spitfire. Like, that just feels shitty. Yeah, it's not as bad as, like, if somebody's using a charge rifle on artillery, though. Like, I'm fine with that. There's no, no issues with that. Fuck you. I'm fine with it. How do you feel about getting seven wins this week? Wins are such a question mark. My team is, like, always dog shit. He so doesn't like, play with teammates either. Yeah, yeah, I just don't know. Like, I'll have teammates quit if we have one bad round. I'll be, you know, screaming in into the microphone. One time, one of the games where it was one of my best games, we were down 2-0, and I was literally yelling into the fucking mic. I was like, because I had a teammate that was just fucking off and was dying first every time, and pre in the like pregame lobby where you could like buy your guns and shit, he would buy his guns super fast and then just start punching me before we started. And I was like, wow, bro, I really wish you did this kind of damage in the fucking match. Why don't you try to not die? I'm just going off on this guy. In the net, you know, that round, so we're, we're 0 2. That round, he actually came through and like got a kill. And immediately, credit where credit's due, I was like, bro, that's what I'm talking about. Let's turn it around. And he was able to get it together. But that's a rare experience. Normally, if I start laying into somebody, I'm like, yo, you need to pull it together. They just quit. And then, so then I'm playing, you know, two on three. So wins are just a big question mark. All I can control is my kills. My kills. Is what I have control over. Or I should really, honestly, it's more like knocks. But I'm getting better at finishing them off. So knocks and kills, that's the only thing I'm confident in this week. Okay. So, Wyatt, mm-hmm. you had, give me a scale one to ten. How confident that you hit your knocks? I'm like, I'm at a nine. Cause like you go from sixty to fifty eight to forty three, and this was I this week just felt shit. All right, 764 bones on Wyatt's total knocks. Gift to the All-Father right out the gate. Nice. Fucking hit it. Total knocks. I trust it. Then I got 200 and, or no. No, I don't trust you enough for that. I was going to do it, and I can't do it. Uh, I got 100 bones on Troy's total wins under. Yeah, all right. Um. Troy, I'm also putting another 100 bones on your total kills under. Oh, my Whoa. good God. That's a spite, what a spite bet. bet. That, that is a spite, spite. Why bet. I'm also giving you a 54 bones under, over, Okay. on your total kills. All right, you bastard. Ah, fuck that. Troy, minus 154, bo- or 154 bones on your kills under. Goodness Ooh. gracious, Solid bro. spite bet. That's Listen, how you spite. How you spite right there? That's how you spite. That, that, especially when why? it's against his gift. Of the how long yeah, do how I have spite. to spite you? What did I deserve this for? Listen, <laughs> he's only got. He's only got. Like, I'm, I'm just out here you. grinding. That's all I'm doing. I'm exactly. finally. I'm listen, finally putting in listen, work. This is your prove it week. As long as you're using the charge rifle, you ain't gonna prove it. So I'm not worried. You'll get damage. You won't get kills. You'll get damage. You'll get damage. You won't get wins. That's, that's it. That's true. That's what it is. That's what it, it's a damage gun. See, listen, kids. I don't know if you understand this yet, but um, 
The charge credit feels like cocaine. You, you do realize that. Our you start demo- doing it, and then, you know, next thing you know, you're a bum on the streets. Yep. Okay? Same thing with the charge rifle. Well, you get a lot of damage, but the next thing you know, you're losing the game, and you're a bum on the streets. Yeah. So okay. that's that's what happens when you use the charge rifle. Well, I think you're not accounting for uh, cornbread here. <laughs> I don't think you're thinking this all the way through. Uh, I don't know if you've ever been down home. And I don't know if you've ever been a cornbread cowboy, and it bothers me that you haven't tried that out. I will never be a cornbread cowboy. I'll tell you what. You're damn well right you ain't never been a <laughs> cornbread cowboy. So that's your card? That's my card. I got – I'm spite betting the fuck out of Troy twice, <laughs> and I am putting it, the rest of it, all on why it's total knocks. All right. Spite there we go. bets, baby. Cards are in. Everything's in. Um, Kyle, please I'm fucking miss your line. I'm being viciously attacked for no reason. If I no, it's not attacked. It. It's me saying I want you to fucking prove it. He he wants prove, prove that you it. can game in it's Apex. A prove it game. Prove that you can actually game in Apex. Right, yeah, bro. It's a prove All it right. game. Okay. Listen, All right. we got the. You're the Call of Duty player. We need to see you be an Apex player. All right, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna work on my movement. I'm gonna get it down because my shot's been way better. My movement is just like I'm not doing that like crouch shit that everybody's doing. I gotta get that under control. Crouch I actually don't even really do the crouch shit. I anymore. do. I crouch ban the shit out of people. Crouch. Only like really up close when I know they have an Evo on me, then I'll do it. I'll but. I'll do it, but it's not normally on purpose. It's because my stick, my right stick, my look is also the crouch button for oh, me. Okay. So it's like a panic crouch, and then like I'll do it once. I'm like, fuck it, just keep doing it. It'll look normal. <laughs> just like I how actually, I accidentally carry about sixteen to twenty st- <laughs> cells, cells ev- yeah. every other game. I'm carrying like twenty cells. I'm like, why am I doing this to myself? And then I can't get myself to drop them. Who sings that? Uh, that song goes radioactive. Radio. Oh, you Does mean Imagine know? Dragons? Yeah, it's Imagine that, Dragons. Uh, actually, my best friend Candace loves Imagine Dragons. <laughs> oh, Candace. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dude. She lives over on uh, yeah. uh, Bofa uh, and Ligma over there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't yeah. know. Where's Bofa and where's Ligma? So it's it's on the other side of town. you got to go over uh, the Tipama Bridge. <laughs> Um, you got to go <laughs> over is there. That, is that part of a different town? Is Tipama a different town? Yeah, it's in a different Tipama. town, and it's kind of close to uh, Lake Endema right there. Lake uh, Endema? Yeah. Endema. Yeah. Endema Dick? Yeah, Endema Dick. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> yeah, so it's it's all the way over there, so you know you got to go out there. and, and, uh, and Side note, have you ever been to Aldi's? Yeah, Aldi's is actually one of my favorite places to Dude, go. Dude, I fucking love Aldi's. Especially during Aldi's the summertime. Salt. Troy, Aldi's. what do you think about Aldi's? Aldi's is sick. Dude, I'm fucking not a fan of Aldi's, I'll be honest. Aldi's nuts on your face? (laughs) 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 All right, that'll just about round it out for episode 44 of the Grab My Banner podcast. Don't forget to say what's up to your friend Candace. Uh, so uh, we'll catch Hi, you. We'll, we'll catch you guys next week. Have a good week. Uh, don't forget, we also have new episodes of uh, Megalodon is real coming out. <laughs> I'm trying to get those episodes. I'm trying to do two a week. Uh, that's just if you're a fan of us. That's not really an Apex podcast. That's just that's just bullshit. if you're a Wyatt's fan. Saying random shit. That's yeah, just why me is he talking saying about shit? random <laughs> things. It's only on Spotify. Uh, so if you're if you just want some more exclusive content, it's not even exclusive. Uh, but if you want it, it's there. Um, so we got all that coming out. And then we're trying to get some more blogs out as well as some more TikToks and Instagram posts, all that. So make sure you guys choose. Uh, I mean, not choose. Make sure you guys stick along. Watch all that stuff. We appreciate all you guys sticking around with us for so long. We are sending out those cards, Raise Energy cards today. So those should be on the way. All right, boys. We'll catch you next week. See ya. See you. See you.